No, we've all had the pleasure of getting to know Coach Kavanaugh over the years, and when I got a chance to chat with him this week, what struck me was just how genuinely happy he seemed with his decision and that he was leaving the game on his terms. I don't know if there's ever really a good time after being here for so many years. Um, so we said this is it. After 29 years and 170 wins, Rich Cavanaugh and his wife decided it was time to leave the sidelines and give retirement a try. What are his immediate plans? Nothing. <laughs> There's no plan here. It's just see, uh, retire and see what it's like to uh, not have to get up and go out and recruit kids and do all the things that you need to do to get ready for next fall to put a, uh, you know, a good prog product on the field. On Kavanaugh's watch, the product on the field, never an issue for the Owls. 19 winning seasons and four NCAA championship appearances. His 170 wins as head coach ranks him 29th in NCAA Division II history. I don't care how good a coach you are. If you don't have the kids, you know, you're not going to be successful. Kavanaugh spent most of his life in the game of football. He played at Lyman Hall in Wallingford and then at American International in college. After his playing career, his next move was an easy one. I mean, I, I always knew I wanted to be a coach, so that was the goal going into college. Did I ever imagine that I would uh, be given the opportunity that I was afforded? You know, no. I mean, I think that's something you got to work for. Kavanaugh says he leaves the program in good shape. What will he miss most at Southern? The people. The Owls are moving quickly to try and replace Kavanaugh. He says he has no interest in picking his successor. He says it would be just too hard. Noah, back to you.